In this video, I'll show you how to make a birthday card of the Baron von Richthofen skywriting the number 60. And I'll tell you why as we go along. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Well, to make this card, I'm using, uh, a, I'm gonna start with a pencil. I'm gonna then ink it in with my pen and then I will erase the pencil and then I will color in with my trusty watercolors. And I'm using these Aquash paint brushes, which I just started using, I'm uh, having fun with them. I'm using 300 gram or 140 pound pa uh, watercolor paper here, which is very smooth finish. And I've scored it down there so I'll be able to fold it into a card. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this kind of 60 up here done in, in, in cloud writing. And I'm doing the, I'm, I'm pressing really, really lightly because I'm going to want to erase all these pencil lines afterwards. And if you press too hard, you're going to get the, the, the graphite really into the card. So press really, really lightly. And in fact, you're going to want to make it more kind of bubbly and smoky like that. And then, and then I'm going to have it kind of drifting off down here as if he's doing a kind of a tumble turn. And then here is going to be the Baron von Richthofen. So that will be kind of the his fuse, the fuselage of the plane, and that's kind of the front. Like that. He's going to be about in there, and then the tail plane, and I think there's a elevators. I don't know. No, this, anyway, it's looking a bit too long, so that maybe want to be a bit bigger and a bit chunkier. And then the the bottom wing will be coming out from the underneath of the plane. So I'm thinking that that's kind of about there. So it might actually be a bit shorter on that side there. And it's coming forwards at an angle. This is a Fokker triplane. So this wing here will be coming kind of like that across it. So that will be coming up at the same angle there. And it's quite hard getting, it's quite hard getting this right. And also that wants to kind of curve around the cockpit there so the pilot can see out. And then the top wing will be on top again. And it's all leaning forward. So getting this kind of 3D perspective is quite difficult. Uh, it still doesn't feel right. That feels a bit better there. And I'm just... I'm just kind of sketching and sketching until it feels right. Uh, that feels about right, but I'm not going to be able to see the Baron there, so I'm going to lift that up a little bit higher. I want to be able to see him um, waving. So we'll put the... make this come out a little bit here, put the struts in. I'm going to make this a bit wider, just for artistic <laughs> purposes, so we can see him waving away. We're going to want the propeller there and we're going to see the the wing the, the the landing buggy trailer thing undercarriage <laughs> down there so that is looking kind of about right to me right now i've zoomed in and uh, what i want to do is draw the things that are nearest to you um so that's going to be kind of the front of the uh, propeller i'm going to draw that in first just to get it out of the way so i know what's going on and then that's going to want to hint of a of it spinning round and round and you're going to want to kind of know where that is as well um, and then I'm going to draw you've got this kind of very distinctive cowl on the front of the plane not Simon Cowell don't get muddled up and then I think the top wing is the next important thing around to the end and curve it there and then the the kind of flaps a elevators ailerons or something they stick out a little bit at the end on on the top wing and what i'm going to do is put these little curves in at the front to give it that feeling of depth and then kind of lines flick lines across to them to give that feeling of you know that the old-fashioned airplane the wing the way the wings were made like that no, this is not a technical thing showing you how to draw a, a, a Fokker triplane. This is a birthday card for my friend Adam. <laughs> and why am I doing this particular thing for him? Well, Adam is, is he's kind of one of those people who's been everywhere. 
and he's done everything. He's seen everything. He's either got everything or he's had everything <laughs> at some point in his life. And, uh, and he's just one of those people who's really, really difficult to get gifts for. And it's his 60th birthday coming up. And uh, so in 60 years, he's obviously seen an awful lot. And uh, somehow he has ended up living in Berlin. And he's managing a rugby club called the Berlin Bruisers. And if you don't know what rugby is, it's kind of the British version of American football. We call football soccer. No, you, we call football football. You, Americans call football soccer. And we call football what Americans call soccer. And so, so the, anyway, the kind of thing where you go tackling people and, you know, barging into people is kind of, uh, that we call that rugby. And it's sort of different. There's no armour. Well, I think they're starting to wear armour now, actually. But anyway, um, so he's managing this team. And I just kind of thought, you know, Baron Rock, von Richthofen, he was a bit of a bruiser. <laughs> so uh, it just kind of seemed apt. And so he's going to be doing sky writing and writing the uh, 60 in the sky. Now I'm going to do the, the wheel. So you want an ellipse for the wheel there, it's a bit wobbly. And then we're going to have a curve in there. And these are the struts for the undercarriage. And that will kind of disappear off. And you're going to kind of see a hint of the wheel on the other side because the propeller's in the way. And here's the rest of the wing on the other side. And again, we want these kind of flicked lines coming in there like that. Uh, now also on the top we are going to want to put the German Air Force markings in because Adam is living in Berlin in Germany and in fact I'm hoping to go there in a few weeks time to Berlin to have a look around because I've never been to Berlin before and that'll be really interesting. So now all we need to do is to draw the Baron in himself so he'll be kind of in his cockpit with goggles on him smiling and big mitten or something like that big flying mittens waving away now i'm going to draw the the 60 maiden clouds and this is just uh you know making it look bobbly really and make it look cloudy and um, when uh, that's okay on the outside but on the inside of course you have to kind of do it kind of in negative or reverse, uh, kind of like that. And here I'm making it go thinner and thinner and eventually it's going to kind of break off into these little cloudlets which you'll see little mini cloudlets here. Now I'm just going to add some extra kind of balloony bits to give it a bit more depth like that and maybe a few little kind of wobbles in the sky when you are absolutely sure that it is dry then you can erase all the pencil lines i've used a really soft pencil and pressed very lightly so it's easy to erase all the pencil lines if you press too hard it's going to be difficult well there's about 20 minutes of painting here uh, all speeded up but basically the thing is with watercolor uh, is to remember that the light is coming through the paint so the white of the paper is kind of like a, a light bulb behind these transparent glazes that you're putting on it's not like oil paint where the color is actually in the paint in oil paint so you have to think of uh, uh, watercolors in a completely different way and it's just building up thin layers of uh, kind of transparent glazes eventually you get to the end you fold up the card put it in an envelope <laughs> write the address on the front and send it off and uh, and I think if you did something like that the person who received it would be very pleased <laughs>